Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. So I wanted to come on and talk about something that you're doing right now that doesn't cost anything and it can make a difference in how you handle stress and can help your body too. So let me see if I have sound. How is everybody I do doing? have sound. And let's see if I can share it out. Yep, let me do it this time. So it's back to normal. Thanks for the thumbs up. Hey, Jay, what's up? So this week I wanted to talk, well, it's Sunday. And you know that even though my schedule doesn't, it's not Monday through Friday, I like to bring some good tips for you on Sundays so you can start out the week. But the focus of this whole, of, of the week starts here, which is breathing and how it affects everything that you do. And I like to give you tips on managing your stress, right? Because I'm all about talking about your stress style, identifying your stress style, and then doing things daily to help you feel better. Because, you know, as first responders, things get kind of crazy for us and we deal with a lot in a day. There's a lot of ups and downs, right? And it's important to be able to balance it all out. I have to do this myself daily. I have to remind myself to um, de-stress and to focus on these, these things as well. So in talking to you, I'm also focusing on myself as well. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Tony Gonzalez and I am the host of this group, Wellness For You. I am my first responder, almost 23 years. September 1st will be 23 years. And um, I love talking about things that can help you um, deal with stress. Hi, ladies, how are you? So good to see you. Happy St. Patty's Day, right? I hope you're having a wonderful day. All right, so this week, I wanted to talk to you about breathing. And as, as first responders, we need this. We need this, and we need a reminder because sometimes it's, we're not paying attention to our breath. So everybody breathes. <laughs> Thanks for all the love. Everybody breathes and breath affects everything, everything. It really does. It really does affect everything. So where am I getting this from? I am talking to you from this. I'm actually, I love this book. I love all these books, but Breathe is by Dr. Belissa Vranek, all right? And what we're going to talk about is breathing. You've probably heard some talk recently about breathing exercises. You may have uh, brushed off the idea that it's something trendy and but now now we have this feeling that yes yes actually there's something that you like to try so what i wanted to say before i forget is we wear sometimes masks when we enter any um you know there may be chemicals or whatever and sometimes we have to wear these masks and breathing this this type of breathing can help you as well all right so though you though you don't know how you don't know how, in your gut that improved breathing could help you feel better still even the term better is vague perhaps better breathing could energize you a little rid you of that feeling of being tired all the time or improve your memory and who doesn't want a better memory right maybe it could even help cut down the number of medications your doctor has prescribed is what she wrote here and maybe just maybe it could help you deal with increasing in, that increasing stress in your life that regardless of how many your how many resolutions you devote Two, finding a balance, taking time to relax, and being in the know, you can't get, you can't get this stress under control. So breathing, at, at first, you might dismiss it as some stuff in the, in the songs that you hear in the radio, but once you realize that oxygen is body fuel at a cellular level, it's how you nourish your brain and muscles well, it starts to make sense, a lot of sense, right? And you guys know that I'm always talking about these three deep breaths and how it can help you relieve stress. People, it really does work. And you do you know this? You consider buying that face cream that pr professes to tighten up that skin. You know, you're toying with the idea of taking supplements that promise increased oxygenation. And you drink alkaline water that promise to lower your acidity and oxygenate, oxygenate you better. So now consider something that you could do just as quickly and more cheaply, zero dollars, people merely by adjusting your inhale and exhale just a tad. After all, the goal of all supplements you take, green juices you drink, and workouts you do is to oxygenate you better. So why not go to the source? 
and the source is breathing. How well you breathe is the best indicator of how healthy you are and how long you'll live. If I had to limit my advice on healthier living to just one tip, says Dr. Andrew Wheel, it would simply be to learn how to breathe correctly. All right, so in this book, there's a lot of tips, and I'll share it in the links with you, but there's actually a, like a little, like survey that you would take on breathing, and then it gives you a level of where you're at, and I, I would highly recommend it. I'll share it with you as well, but by changing the way you breathe, we'll be able to, you'll be able to control stress a lot better, not let it control you, and how do you do this? by deactivating dysfunctional breathing patterns, by realigning your breathing to work with your body, not against it, by learning to activate your underutilized diaphragm muscle and working your breathing muscles just as you would in physical therapy. So it's really detailed, this chapter, and I would really love for you to, to just look at this book. It's really, really great. And it's baseline numbers, that thing that I was telling you about the survey. So you just take and you just figure out where you, where you are. So it, it, this starts out with stress on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the most stress. How stressed are you right now? That is a great question. How stressed are you right now? Over the past week, what was your average stress level? Over the last month, don't judge your stress by the event that caused it. Stress can be caused by worries about an impending problem, not necessarily the result of direct trauma. This is a subjective number that has to, has to do only with you. Over the next 14 days, rate your stress. And it's like a 14-day thing, and you can just rate your stress. So I wanted to leave you with just one thing. And I get this from Mindfulness on the Go Cards by Dr. Joy Jan Chosen Bays. And it's the just the three breaths that I talk about all the time. And if you can't remember anything else, I want you to remember this. Just three breaths. As many times a day as you're able, give the mind a short rest. For the duration of three breaths, ask the inner voices to be silent. It's like turning off the inner radio or TV for a few minutes. Then open all your senses, senses and be aware of color, sound, touch, and smell. Because we don't have to count three breaths, we can enjoy them. When the three breaths are done, let the mind loose for a bit. Then turn its full attention against, again to those three breaths. As the mind rests more and more in the present moment, it will naturally settle then without effort, we can be present for a few more and just a few more breaths until we are able to sit in a relaxed, open awareness, an open awareness. When the mind switches from productive to receptive mode, we return to pure awareness of infancy. We are able to plug back into the unlimited source. Afterward, the rejuvenated mind asks, why don't we do this more often? So prescription for good health is quiet the mind for just three breaths, repeat as needed. So if you need a one minute meditation, which will help you with this, I'll add the, um, it's a free course that I created, I'll add it in the comments. So people, why do I talk about all this stuff? Because it's important to be aware of how you're breathing. It's important at, to know what, where your stress is, how to make it better and to do things daily to, to relieve the stress because you know what? I want us all to retire and enjoy our retirement after, right? It's important. All right, so thanks everybody for hopping on. If you're catching the replay, let me know you're catching the replay. Hashtag it, your stress style. Share this out to your friends and invite them here. And I wanna remind you to take care of yourself and to stay safe out there. I'll talk to you soon.